Ever since their introduction in the 1950s, NATO anti-air missiles have had limitations. Most importantly, there's always been a demand for more range. The explanation is simple and holds true even today. Only one-fifth of a rocket motor's weight is fuel. This means burn time and range is relatively short. What we have here is a traditional rocket motor with a motor case, uh, a blast pipe and a nozzle and inside there is a propellant and that propellant consists of 80% of oxygen. Only 20% can be utilized for the real propellant that is burning. That will give limitations in range, velocity and height coverage. One defense company, NAMO, is however working on a completely new rocket motor concept. The ramjet motor is different in that it does not need to carry oxidizer. Instead, at very high speeds, atmospheric air goes into an air intake, is compressed, and as temperature rises, it is ignited together with the rocket fuel. When the oxidizer, 80% of the weight can be removed. There is room for up to five times more fuel. Since the missile is flying in the atmosphere, we have an air intake here. That means we could take away all the oxygen in the propellant and use the air intake as a compressor when it comes up to Mach 3 approximately. And in that way you can get ranges that is much longer and you will be able to maintain the velocity for all the burn times, maybe up to three, four hundred seconds at Mach 3. And that's, this is of course a, a giant leap compared to the old type of uh, technology. The ramjet concept, NAMO believes, could be applied to virtually any missile. Air-to-air -air missiles could see ranges up to 500 kilometers. Naval missiles could go several times further out than today. Even those launched from submarines. and ground-based missile defense systems could also remedy one significant shortcoming and reach much higher than today. At NAMO's facilities, ramjet motors have already been tested more than 150 times. NAMO CEO Morten Bransegg feels ramjets could make a big impact. Well, there is no doubt. It's a substantial impact. It will go faster, it will go higher, it will go longer, and it will go with uh, exact precision. So this is a huge opportunity. I think it will change the way we fight on the ground. I think it will change the way we fight in the air. This will be a giant leap forward it will increase range, velocity and height coverage and it's probably the biggest invention since the introduction of the jet engine.